guys, welcome to a weekend in my life. I wanted to go ahead and start this vlog. Today is Friday, it is 3.30 in the afternoon. I have been finishing up filming a tie-dye video. I'm wearing one of the sets right now. That video will be linked above. Check it out, it was so much fun. So I've been filming and editing that. Just got back from taking the dogs out and now I am making some lunch. I've got some vegan grilled chicken strips by the brand Alpha right here, just heating up. And I just washed some red leaf and red leaf some red leaf, some red leaf and red leaf, some red leaf and green leaf lettuce, and I'm gonna have a vegan chicken Caesar salad. I don't know what I'm gonna get into this weekend. Um, I wanna show you guys some new things I got in the mail today. I'm gonna try that on for you. And I think I'm gonna meet up with a girlfriend on Sunday for like coffee or lunch or something, <clears throat> excuse me, because my 29th birthday is on Tuesday. Welcome to the vlog. I'll show you guys this lunch when I'm done. I think I'm also gonna make like a protein matcha shake. Um, for a little bit of a boost because I need to finish editing that video. I just want to have it done and out of the way before the weekend. Never made a matcha protein shake before, but let's see what it tastes like. Oh, that is fantastic. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna have my lunch and then I'll check in with you guys later on. update it is now 5 30. i think i was talking to you guys around like three o'clock but i have been editing the tie-dye video and i just finished up but then of course you have to save it upload it come up with the title make a thumbnail do the tags post it promote it all of that jazz which takes even more time I feel like you can see my the color of this set really well in the camera which is great i'm super super sleepy I woke up at 7 a.m. and I went to bed at 1 a.m. I have really been putting in work on tracking like the analytics of my YouTube channel and my Instagram, like really trying to grow. I've been working at YouTube and Instagram for about three years now, but my content has really only been like up to par, I would say for the past year year and a half. I got really good at editing. I learned some new stuff even just over the past month on like iMovie. I do have Final Cut Pro and I did spend like hours one day trying to learn it and I've got the basics down but there's just like so much that I don't know and I really want to take like a Final Cut Pro class where someone can be with me teaching me so maybe that'll have to be like after COVID. But I found a bunch of or I learned a bunch of new stuff that I can do on iMovie to make my videos just more creative and cooler and like add graphics and stuff. So that's been really fun. But as far as my Instagram, I've not seen a whole lot of growth, but over the past week, I have really started to see the hard work pay off. And that has been like tracking my analytics and posting at the right time and engaging with a lot of other pages like mine and doing all of that stuff. And it's been really rewarding to like see some growth happen. So that's been nice. I've just been putting a lot of time into making this, like treating it like a job. And I think I've mentioned this before on my channel, but like really you guys, the month of August has been this has been my job. I am like constantly thinking about videos. If I'm not filming, I'm thinking about videos, planning videos, or editing another video, or like taking photos for Instagram and editing them and coming up with like just cool ideas. 
and yeah it's been really fun and i know that one day all of this hard work will will pay off like i know that it will i manifest it i pray for it i visualize it like i know it's gonna happen i know my channel is small and my instagram is small now but i will meet all the goals so if you want to be a part of helping me do that please follow me on instagram and subscribe to this channel tell your friends and family about it and yeah if you enjoy the content then share it with other people and make sure to give a thumbs up and join the channel okay it's a little past six now and i think it's like almost 6 30. i kept i had to you have to like go over your video a few times now it's finally uploading it doesn't go up until i think monday yeah monday and thursday is when i'm trying to upload i'm going to do two videos a week mondays and thursdays so but i just want to have it ready and out of the way anyway um this company called love soft yoga reached out to me um a couple weeks ago and wanted to send me some things to try out so that's the brand it's called loved love soft they had me pick from a couple of things hopefully this fits i could have sworn i ordered a medium and this is a small and so are the shorts i could have sworn i ordered a medium in both hopefully i ordered a small there's this like one piece yoga suit which i think is so cool i don't think this is gonna fit me though i literally just took it out of the bag i haven't tried it on yet um and these these might fit and actually so far just holding like you can tell when you take something out of the bag like if it's going to be good quality or not like this is thick and stretchy and it feels good so so far so good but um let's put on that bodysuit first because that's the one i'm like the most nervous about okay so surprisingly it does fit me and it's really, really nice. I had never heard of this company before. Also, this is not something I would normally order, but like I am blown away. I'm gonna turn my camera. Okay, so this is the bodysuit. It fits me really well. Like I'm so surprised that it fit me. I usually never get smalls, but this is nice and it feels like so good. I am so impressed by this. Okay, so it has like this different material material right here. I don't know what this is. Almost like a pleathery type thing, but softer than that. And then look at the back. What? I kind of feel like a ballerina. I don't know the positions. We can pretend. I feel like you guys can see in my face like how shocked I am. Like this looks good, it feels good. What? All right, if I keep going on and on, you guys are gonna think that I'm like being paid for this, but I'm not. They just sent me these items to try and so far, so good. I can't wait to try those shorts on. Okay, really quick before I put on the shorts, I wanted to see if I could make this into like a cute little outfit too. And I feel like, yes, absolutely with like the chunky sneakers. And like this jean jacket, some jewelry. This is so cute. Here are the shorts and I just threw it on with um, a tie-dye top that I just made. Um, link will be above. All right, I really do like these. They are a little bit lower than I would normally go for. They're still high-waisted, which is great. And they're really sucking me in and they're super comfortable. Damn, actually they look really good. The more I'm like having them on and like looking at myself, I'm like, Bee okay the only problem is that there's a seam up the middle and I kind of have a camel toe but it's not so bad that I wouldn't wear them and there's pockets so that's always good where's my phone let's see oh yes I am not exaggerating when I say I'm like blown away right now I was not expecting this at all so comfortable quality is amazing um, yeah, I have a discount code. Both of these things will be linked to below along with their website and my discount code. I'll type it on the screen as well. Definitely, if I say definitely, absolutely so cute. Impressed one more time. Check out the website. Wow. I finally got in the biker shorts that was supposed to be in for my tie-dye video. But I'm going to try those on really quick. This is turning into a little haul try on situation i'm not mad about it the lighting is not super great in here right now so i apologize for that but these are the gray ones right off the bat let me just tell you these are so soft 
and so high waisted with like a thick band right here not like a super tight band it's just like nice and thick the high waist situation i'm very much into and this is what i had in mind i wanted these like gray legging or gray biker shorts to go with like the gray and the tie-dye tops and the other ones that i have back there and it fits so perfectly and they came in a set of three for like 25 bucks these are supposed to be the navy you can, it, it shows up on camera pretty well that they are navy but they're really really dark so got navy and the black yes 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 to this combo this is like a light baby blue with some um it looks kind of gray now but it is the uh, denim blue from the tie-dye video and these are the navy blue bikers oh my gosh i'm telling you guys i will literally claim myself as the queen of finding really good affordable like fitness loungewear always always stick around on my channel hit that subscribe button if you want to be like hooked up with the sites and the deals and like the places to go to get really good quality stuff really comfortable cute things for like next to nothing so i am actually going to change back into what i was wearing or probably just change the top because i want to get out the door real quick before it gets too late um and go pick up some dinner hi welcome to plant power will you be paying with card or cash today with card sounds good what can i get started for you um can i get the buffalo 66. i am finally back from the time i left until right now that was almost an hour and a half waited in line for i think it ended up being like 45 minutes anyway i got a cookies and cream shake this needs to go like in the freezer they gave me a free cookie for waiting so long. I took two bites of it. They drew a smiley face on it. So I got the buffalo chicken sandwich. It's called the Buffalo 66. Cookies and cream milkshake and fries. So I'm actually gonna go take my makeup off. My makeup, I can't talk. I'm gonna go take my makeup off real quick and then sit down and watch the little fires everywhere and have my dinner. And I will talk to you guys in the morning. Good morning, little baby. Oh. Well, good morning. Good morning. It is 10.42 on Saturday morning. I was just in bed for so long. I've been up since like 9, maybe 9, 9.30. That of course was on my phone, on TikTok. It gets me every time on Instagram. And then my dad and stepmom called me. So we talked for a little bit because I am planning on driving back to Texas um, like the second week of September. So we're just talking about that and catching up a little bit. Um, about to take the dogs out. This guy looks like she's probably gonna poop her pants soon. So I do absolutely need to take a shower, wash my hair, shave, exfoliate, and do a self tan. I'm meeting up with a friend tomorrow for, I think I've already mentioned this, for either coffee or lunch or a hike or something um, for a little early birthday hangout. Look at this little precious angel baby. Look at her face. Oh, oh, what a stretch. She's so, oh, she's so cute. So I just made myself a little coffee. Down here, I have a cold brew from Sprouts that I get. It's the cheapest one, so I just get that one. With some Califia French Vanilla Creamer and some Stevia Drops. I have been doing a stretching routine like every single day for a little over two weeks but i've skipped the last two days because i've just been so like into filming my youtube videos and editing them and like making them good so i've been really focused on that and like just working like all day on you know stuff for instagram taking photos editing filming editing thumbnails all that stuff so um today i'm gonna do that routine and i really need it my body feels super tight and i feel so good after i do this routine so i'm gonna go ahead and film it i'll speed it up obviously you guys are not gonna sit here for 10 minutes and watch me do this wish all the hashtags likes and tweets will find a way to get lost yeah and when i pull up to the scene i wonder what the hell is the cost Normally 
after that stretching routine. Some weeks I'm really good about doing this every single day. Some weeks I do it like every other day. Um, last time I did this was Wednesday, so it's been a while. I need to get back on it, but I make it a point. This thing is filled with writing down what I'm grateful for every day, manifesting, writing down goals, writing down plans. Like this has so much information in it. Um, so I'm going to write down today at least five things that I'm grateful for. I obviously have tons more to be grateful for than just five things, but it's just to get yourself like in the right mindset. So um, if I'm like, I've already had my water this morning, took the dogs out. I made sure to clean my apartment, like clean it up, do the dishes, clean everything up, put everything back in place last night so I'd wake up with it being clean and fresh. And I'm sipping on my coffee, did my stretch, and starting the day with gratitude. And like when I do all of that, my days go so much better because I can set up like my intentions for the day and get in the mindset of the day that I want to have. And I would say that most of the time I end up having the day that I that I envisioned. You know what I mean? So I'm going to do my gratitude. Look who I'm talking to, friends. Look at this guy. Still in bed at 11.47. You wanna say hi? Hi. <laughs> Hello guys, it is now 10.30 and I just parked. I'm about to go inside and pick up my food. This downtown area here in Temecula, it's like called Old Town Road. Also look at those mountains right there. It looks, it's like a, it looks like a little mountain town, but the mountains are kind of far away, but it's so cute. There's so many little shops and restaurants and like coffee places and little boutiques and stuff. It is so cute. So I think we'll get our food and go find some place to, is that Megan? Yeah, she's right behind me. Oh, she has a present in her hand. That's so sweet. Okay, I'm gonna go say hello to her and get my food and um, I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Should you do card first or get first? Card. Okay. This is cute. Oh wait, did the boys make this? Yes. I'll show oh you. I'll show you the gosh. setup. Cute oh, card. Cute. That's literally making me cry. Huh? That is so sweet. There is no better gift than Smell candle. it because Southern California mango orange coconut milk. Oh my god. See if you think it smells like where we live. It's good, yeah. Isn't that, that cute? Is so cute? Thank you so You're much. Welcome. Hello, it is now uh, a little bit past 12 and I just got back to my car. Um, I think I should tell in the video. Yeah, I got a pair of black um, pants, really excited about those. They were on sale for $20, which is amazing. Um, yeah, that was super fun. Well, I'm gonna head back home. See you guys in a little bit. It is now four o'clock on the dot, and I just pulled up at my favorite park. I was just here yesterday with the dogs. Because it's been so freaking hot lately, there's never anybody here, which is great. Because I'm gonna rollerblade. I got my rollerblades right here. I just chilled at home for a little bit. I was like scrolling on TikTok for a little while. And I think I already told you guys I FaceTime my mom and all that. And I was getting really sleepy. 
uh, but I didn't want to like take a nap or fall asleep or whatever or just like be lazy for the rest of the day and I haven't worked out in a couple days so this is gonna be my workout today I'm gonna get a little Sun and practice my rollerblading because Tuesday's my 29th birthday and I'm thinking I am going to go to Venice Beach and take my rollerblades and go skating grab some coffee get some lunch um, because David's not here right now and my friend Megan we would be hanging out but she is a mom and she has a full-time job so um, yeah and I don't know many other people I'm wearing the necklace she got me maybe I already showed you guys this I'm not sure but it's so freaking cute it's perfect i literally would have picked this out for myself anyway i'm rambling on now but yeah i'm gonna rollerblade i'm just gonna film on my phone because i don't want to drop my camera i'm excited this should be fun i am so wobbly today I almost fell over three times but this is fun as always Get yourself some rollerblades. It is 92 degrees outside, um, but I managed to do that for about 40 minutes. It's hot and that was really tiring, but let me tell you guys, I was listening to 70s pop radio on Amazon Music while skating around and that was such a mood booster, such a vibe. Okay, I'm super sweaty. I'm gonna chuck some water, blast this AC, put my 70s pop radio back on and go home. Good morning, everyone. It is Monday morning. It's like 9.45ish in the morning. I actually woke up on my own with no alarm at like 6.30, 40ish, and um, posted on Instagram, like my post for the day. And I was like, should I get back up? I laid there for a little bit. I was like, okay, I'll set an alarm for eight. I'll get up at eight. That alarm went off and I snoozed it because I was sleeping so well and I ended up getting out of bed at like nine. <laughs> Feeling a little bit behind, but I'm in like the guest room office right now. I'm about to make a make the tie-dye video live on Instagram or on Instagram on YouTube. Um, so finish that up with like tags and things. And um, today I'm going to clean the crap out of this apartment. It's been a couple weeks since I did like a deep clean. Um, and I'm thinking about filming that for a cleaning video. But I wanted to go ahead and close out this video. I know I was just in this yesterday. But actually when I got home, like it wasn't like sweaty and didn't smell dirty or anything. So I was like, I'll just throw it on this morning to take the dogs out. Um, so there's that. But yeah, I'm going to close out this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Um, so you can see more of this, me in all my glory. I will see you in the next video.